So welcome and thanks for joining me today. I have a little card holder here. Um, <laughs> so we have been, and you can lie down now if you want to, or you can stay seated. We have been talking this week about peace, um, such an important topic. We all want it, we all need it. We want that continual peace that is with us um, whenever we need to, when we can just run to God and attain that peace. Um, the verse I have for you today really kind of encapsulates uh, so much of about what we've been talking about, about peace, but also um, in the past weeks about trust, trusting in God, and about um, our hope, our hope being in Jesus. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so just bringing back all those thoughts about our trust has to be in Him and Him alone. Our hope has to be in Him and Him alone. And that's where we start finding that peace. So again, just kind of bringing everything together that we've been talking about. So with that, if you haven't already, go ahead and line your back. And we'll get started. All right, so just starting with some really lovely big breaths in, big breaths out, just really activating your breath, making your breath longer and longer. As you inhale deeply and as you exhale deeply. So I want you to take your right hand and take it over your heart. Take your left hand to your belly and just feel that breath move through your body. Feel those wonderful inhales, followed by those beautiful exhales, those stress-relieving exhales. Take three more deep breaths, just feeling that breath move through your body. Really nice, everybody. Let's take those arms overhead. We'll start to stretch. Point your toes, feet line with your hips, reach back. Lengthen, stretch that belly, and exhale, bring your knees in, squeeze the knees into the body. We'll do it two more times. Take it all the way back with a big breath and a big stretch. We're going to grab our first two fingers on our right hand with our left hand. So give a nice tug over to the left. Stretch out the right side. Just do what feels good here. Stretching nice and long that right side. Release, bring it back into center. Exhale, bring the knees in. And one more time, all the way back. Big breath, big stretch. Really reach back and then grabbing those first two fingers on your left hand. Just give a nice tug over to the right. Lengthening that left side. And release. Bring it back into center. And bring those knees in. Exhaling out all the air. So you're bringing these a little bit away from your body. And with your hands on your knees, we're going to open up and then shut. And open and shut. And open and shut. We're going to do a few more of these, just warming up those hips. Just starting to get them to move. Do the circulation in those hips. Let's do one more. And then we'll hold here in center. So now we're just going to focus on the right side. So drop out your right knee. I can't go very far here. And then bring it back in. Drop out that right knee. So go a little farther this time. It's the advance and retreat notion. So bring it back in. Drop it out. Every time going a little bit, tiny bit farther. Just open it up a little bit more. Bring it back in. And we'll do two more. So we advance 
and retreat. Let's do one more here. Advance and retreat. We'll go to the other side. So drop that left leg out, keep your hand on your knee. Bring it back in. Inhale, drop it out. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, drop it out. Again, you're gonna do that notion of advance as you open it up and retreat as you bring it back in. Open it up, just go a little bit farther. Retreat, bring it back in. Let's do one more here. Open it up. And bring it back in. All right, very nice. Bring your feet to your mat, arms out to your sides. Let's go for a nice simple twist. Shift your hips over to the right, knees to the left. Look to your right hand. Left hand on your top leg if you want. Just to encourage those legs out a little bit more. We'll just breathe here. Letting the legs become heavy. We'll take a few more breaths. All right, really nice, everybody. Let's switch. Bring your feet to the mat. Shift your hips to the left, knees to the right. Arms are out. You're looking to that left hand this time. Use your right hand on your top leg. Draw your belly in and use your breath here. And a few more breaths. All right, way to go. Let's bring it back into center. Shift your hips back in the center. Draw your knees into your chest. We'll just gently rock it out here a little bit, left and right, left and right, rolling out your low back. You can do whatever feels good here. You want to alternate your legs, anything that feels appropriate. And we'll take a few more. And we'll come back into center. All right, so. We're going to take three rolls forward and back. So roll forward and up, come all the way back. Forward and up, all the way back. Last time. Come on. Up. All right. Sit with your legs crossed. Sit nice and tall. We'll take a big breath up. Inhale. Bring your hands together in prayer. Drop it down with your exhale. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale up. Big breath up. This time we're going to interlace our fingers and take it to the back of your head. Elbows wide, drop your chin down, look down. And so really press your chin towards your chest. Gently press into the back of your head, stretch out the back of your neck. You can draw those elbows together if you want. Take one more breath here. And then take it up. So open it up, lean all the way back, head in the hands, elbows wide. Really open the chest. And we'll take a breath here. All right, let's do it one more time. So bring that chin down, look down, gently press into the back of your head. The back is rounded. Drawing the elbows together, if you want. Really focus on the stretch in the back of the neck here. Should feel really nice. Let's take one more breath. And then we'll take it all the way up and back. Really big. Open it up. Keep breathing. One more breath here. All right, let's bring it back into center. Way to go, drop your hands to your knees, nice big circles with your core. So hips are down, big, big circles. Use your shoulders, use your elbows, use your breath. Maybe close your eyes.
One more big, big breath, big circle. And then reverse. Just noticing what you feel in your hips and your core. Waking up those abdominal muscles. Just see what you feel as you move and breathe. All right, one more. There you go, bring it back into center. Big breath up, inhale, hands together in prayer, drop it down with your exhale. Great job, let's come up onto our knees. So bringing your body up over your knees, toes right behind your knees. Okay, so we're gonna take a big breath up, inhale. This time exhale behind your back, interlace your fingers, pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Okay, so we're going to bring the body down, and go into our shoulder stretch. So head comes towards the mat, arms come over, nice deep stretch. Doesn't matter if your head touches the mat, just squeeze your shoulder blades together and away from your ears. Your shoulder stretch here. One more breath. Engage the core, come on up nice and strong. We'll release, take a big breath up, inhale. We're gonna exhale to the left, take a twist, arms out, thumbs up. Look left, drop your shoulders. Inhale back up to center. Go the other way, twist to the right, look right. Thumbs up, drop those shoulders. Let's do it again, inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Arms out, thumbs up. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Arms out, thumbs up, look to the thumb. We'll do one more step. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, nice and strong. Inhale, center. And exhale to the right. All right, nice job, you guys. So drop your arms down. We're gonna go into eagle arms. So we're gonna take the right arm under the left. Okay, so everybody does this a little different. How you do it is fine. If you wanna bring your palms together, if that works, or you can make a fist, whatever works for you. Okay, you're gonna drop your elbows down, and then we're gonna round the back. So round the back, drop the chin towards the chest. Get that nice C shape in your spine. And then bring it all the way up and take it all the way back. Opening, lifting, and then we're gonna do it again. So rounding the back, drop it down. Okay, keep breathing. Get that nice shoulder stretch here. And then take it all the way up and back. Okay, maybe you push your hips a little bit forward. Let's bring it back into center and we'll switch arms. So release. And we'll take that opposite arm on top. So it should be left arm on the bottom, right arm top, or whatever the opposite is for you. Okay, and again, you're gonna either bring palms together, make a fist, just anything that works for you. Drop your elbows down. And then taking that nice rounding in your back, dropping the arms, getting that really nice separation of your shoulder blades here. So really focus on that upper back, draw the belly in. And then take it all the way up and back. So bringing the gaze up. Again, maybe pushing those hips a little bit forward. Taking that nice little back bend. And we'll do it one more time. So round, bring the arms down, separate your shoulder blades. That lovely stretch into your shoulders. And then we'll take it all the way up and back. Get a really nice back bend. Bring the gaze up. Feel that nice stretch in your belly. And then we'll come back into center. Great job, you guys. Release. Big breath up. Inhale. Exhale down. We'll just float the arms up one more time. And exhale down. Just kind of shake that out and loosen that up. All right, super nice shoulder work today. So here we go, tabletop. 
All right, wrists below shoulders, knees below hips. Find your cat, exhale. Find your cow, inhale. Tilt that pelvis out. Find your tabletop and then lift into your downward facing dog. And we'll just take a moment here in our first downward facing dog. And just make sure everything feels right. Check in with your hands, your shoulders, your feet. Press your hips back. Notice where you're looking. You want your ears by your biceps. Okay, then we'll just pedal it out a little here. Since it's our first down dog, so walk out those heels. Keep breathing. And then bringing it back into center. We're going to do a nice big heel lifter here. Lift those heels high. Take the heels down. Now flip your feet over. So the top of your foot is on the mat. You have a nice stretch into the top of your foot. Just kind of press in. See what feels good there. All right. So unflip that foot and do the other foot. Top of the foot on the mat. Just a little pressure there. See what feels good. These are some muscles in your feet you probably don't normally use. So it might even feel a little intense. And then we'll come back into a uh, regular downward facing dog. So drop your knees to the mat and we'll go back to our cat pose. Exhale, round for cat. Inhale, come into your cow, tilting your pelvis out. So just moving through it again, coming back into your tabletop and then your downward facing dog. So let's go straight into our heel lifters. Heels come high. Drop the heels down with your exhale. Take the top of your right foot to your mat. And then bring the heel back down. Take the top of your left foot to your mat. And bring the heel back down. Okay, let's go through it one more time. Drop your knees to the mat. Find your tabletop and then your cat. Exhale. Inhale, find your cow. Helping the pelvis out. Back into your tabletop and back to your downward facing dog. All right, heel lift your nice and strong, stretching out your feet and then taking the top of your foot to the mat. Your feet should love you after all this. All right, bring that heel back to the mat and then do the left side, top of the foot to the mat. And then the heel to the mat. All right, nice job. Let's drop the knees again. Come back into your tabletop. And then bring your hands in front a little bit. We're going to take some nice big circles with our hips. So just press that out nice and big. Using your breath. And just taking your time. One more big circle. All right, let's reverse. Really press it out. Okay, just move slowly here. You cannot move too slowly as you do this. Just working into those hips. Pressing out those tight muscles. And of course, using your breath. Great, fabulous job. Let's take one more big circle. All right, you guys are awesome. Come back to your tabletop, come into your downward facing dog. All right, so here we go. We're gonna walk, or if you wanna just take one big step forward to your hands, it's up to you. Either way, we're gonna come to the hands, take your hands to your lower legs like a pathway, inhale. Exhale, fold in. Take a big breath up. So the front of the back, take those arms up to the sides. Big breath up. Inhale, hands come together in prayer. Drop it down with your exhale. 
And we'll do that one more time. Inhale up. This time we're gonna take our hands together and curl and take a back bend. So just exhaling into your back bend and then bringing it back into center. Big swan dive down. Hands to your lower legs. Look up halfway. Inhale. Exhale, fold in. Hands to the mat. Left leg back for your runner's lunge. So you're in your runner's lunge. We're going to get some movement like we always do in our runner's lunge. Just kind of warming it up. Warming up the hip flexors. And then coming back into center, we're going to drop that left knee and take a nice big crescent all the way up and all the way back. We're going to let those arms go all the way back. Big circle with the arms. And we'll do that one more time. So inhale up, nice and big. Take it all the way back. Open it up. Exhale as you bring it down. Let's do one more here. Big breath up. All the way around. Just full range of motion with those arms coming to the mat. And tucking your left toes, right leg comes back, downward facing dog. So let's do that again. We'll walk it forward or step it forward, however you want to get to your hands. And then coming up nice and strong, taking that breath all the way up. Inhale, hands come together in prayer. Exhale, take it back. Open it up, take your back bend. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, swan dive it down. Inhale, look up halfway as you stretch your spine. Exhale, fold in. So this time, right leg comes back. If you're in your downward, sorry, you're not your downward dog, you're in your runner's lunge. Get some movement here. Squeezing your breath. There we go, you guys. Come back into center. Right knee down, take it up with the breath. So just big circles with those arms. So taking it all the way back, opening it up, sweeping it around. Breathe it up again. All the way up, all the way back, full range of motion. Take the exhale down, inhale up one more time. And exhale all the way down, hands come to the mat. Tuck your right toes and left leg comes back for your downward facing dog. All right. So we're just going to pedal it out here a little bit. Just going to walk it out. And then walk your feet outside your mat. So feet are nice and wide. Walk your hands to your feet. And then we'll bend that left knee, stretch out the right side. You can draw your right toes up towards your right knee if you want to. Come back in the center, go the other way, bend the right knee, stretch out that left side. You can draw your left toes up here if you want to. And bring it back into center. So turn your toes out. Okay, heels in, toes out, knees bent. Big breath up. So we're going to bring it all the way up. Inhale. And exhale down. And then on the next breath up, take your hands in a big fist. Okay, so nice strong fist. We're going to exhale in front. Inhale up. So kind of like we have this big hammer. Okay, we're hammering down. Inhale up. Nice and strong. Exhale down. Inhale up. We're going to do five more of these, just working into our quads. Inhale up. Exhale down. Nice and strong. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do three more. Nice and strong. Take it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And one more. Inhale up. And exhale all the way down. So just bring your hands to the mat. Turn your toes forward. And walk your hands forward. So you're back into your downward facing dog. All right. Nice job, you guys. Push into your left foot. Right leg comes high. We're going to start with warrior two. Bring your right foot forward in between your two hands. And come up to a nice strong warrior two. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see me better. So you have your right foot forward. All right. So just drop your shoulders, check your feet. Let's take a moment here to settle into your warrior two. And then we'll go into our side angle stretch. So left arm comes to your front leg, right arm reaches over nice and long, and take it back. 
reverse your warrior. Also called peaceful warrior, which is a great thing to think about this week as we talk about peace, being a peaceful warrior. All right, so we're gonna to come to our extended side angle stretch again. Right arm reaches over. And then we're gonna switch right from here. We're gonna take the body down, looking down, arms out in airplane. Okay, so nice strong core. Now drop your right hand down and take your left arm high for your revolving side angle stretch. Oh yeah, I'm doing it opposite of you guys, sorry. Anyway, you're doing a revolving side angle stretch. All right, so you're gonna come back into your airplane and then come back into your extended side angle stretch. Sorry if I missed you guys up because I'm on the opposite leg. I just want you to be able to see me the first time. Okay, let's go back. Reverse warrior, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel hands to the mat. Take that foot back, come back into your downward facing dog. Go through your flow. So find your plank. Okay, we've been talking about drawing that belly up. Nice and strong, set that navel up towards your spine. Engage the muscles in your legs, push your heels back. Okay, we're gonna shift forward just a little bit. Drop down, elbows pointed back. Belly comes down, coming into your cobra or your up dog. Exhale into your downward facing dog. All right, so step it out here, walk it out. Breathe. We'll do that other side. Push into your right foot. Left leg high, three-legged dog. Left foot forward in between your two hands. Rise up strong to warrior two. All right. So here we go. We're gonna go into our extended side angle. Reach with that top arm. And then coming back to our peaceful warrior. Reaching down the back leg. So come back to that extended side angle. Get that nice stretch down the, down the side body. And then we're gonna go into that airplane move. So you're gonna bring your body down, look down, arms out, palms down, nice strong core. And then going into revolving side angle stretch. So this time it is your right hand down. Left arm high. And then back to your airplane, nice and strong. And then come back to your extended side angle. And all the way back, peaceful warrior. All right, so let's cartwheel hands to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and move through your flow. Find that nice strong plank, we're still on your shoulders. Lower down strong, elbows pointed back. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Cobra or up dog, lengthen the spine. Downward facing dog. All right. Wonderful job. Let's find our child's pose. Great job, you guys. Rest your head on your mat. Peaceful warrior. We want to be peaceful warriors. Not like that. Standing up for what we believe and yet being peaceful about it. That's tricky, isn't it? That's a tricky thing. So Romans 15, 13. Again, it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow Hope oh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So these are all good things to be reflecting on, meditating on these days, having more hope, having more peace, having more joy. We know God doesn't want us to be afraid. We know that God doesn't want us to worry. And we talk about that a lot. So um, having that peace, that continual peace that is always there, that we can always go to, we can always connect with God and gain that peace, okay? It doesn't come easily. It's something we need to be very intentional about. We need to be intentional about what we watch, 
what we hear, what we do. <laughs> All right, let's take three, let's take four or five more breaths here and just think about how you can incorporate more of that peace, more of that hope that comes from God and the power of his Holy Spirit. So four or five more breaths here. Great way to go, you guys. Let's take a nice big up dog to lengthen up. Stretch up. Okay. See if just rocking here, left and right, feels good. Just a little movement to the left, to the right. Keeping your neck nice and long. And we'll take a few more. And then we'll bring it back into center. Check your toes mm -hmm. for your downward facing dog. All right, go ahead and walk it out a little bit here. And then pushing into your left foot, take your right leg nice and high. Bend your right knee, stack your hips. Flex your right foot. Today, just little circles with your right knee. Little circles. And then reverse. Just being very focused on those little circles that you're making. Really flexing that right foot. One more. Bring it back into center. Extend your right leg. Drop your right leg down to the left side of your left leg. So your legs are twisted. Your pinky toes are probably near each other. You're pushing your hips back. So just try to get those heels towards the mat. Again, doesn't matter if you get there. Just give it a go. Notice what you feel. Keep breathing. All right, let's lift that right leg high. And take your knee to your nose. Round your back. Exhale. Up with a breath. Inhale. Warrior one. Right foot to your right hand. Pull out your back foot. Rise up strong. Okay, nice strong warrior one. Shoulders are soft. You can turn those pinky fingers in just a little, just kind of rotate it just to help the shoulders relax a little there. All right, very nice. We're going to come down to our humble warrior and sweep it back. Take it all the way back up. Inhale. Take it down. Sweep it back. All the way up. Inhale. Let's do it one more time. Nice and strong. Sweep it back. All the way up. Inhale. Sink into your pose. We're going to go to our standing splits. Hands come to the mat, left leg comes high. Left toes towards the ground, left heel drawing up. Take a breath. And then bending your front knee, we're gonna find that warrior one pose again. So rise up strong, warrior one. Hands to the mat, right leg back, downward facing dog. Find your flow. So then as you lower, think about really drawing your shoulders away from your ears as you bend your elbows. Pull those shoulders away. Untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale. Belly goes with the spine. Draw it in nice and strong. Downward facing dog. All right, way to go. Let's do that left side. Push into your right foot, left leg high. Bend your left knee. Stack your hips, draw that left knee towards the sky. Open it up, flex the left foot. Little circles with your left knee. Just little ones, be intentional here. Let's reverse. Keep breathing, keep oxygenating. One more. Bring it back into center, extend that left leg, so square your hips. Extend that left leg up and then draw it down to the right side of your right leg. So twisting your legs. Again, 
Look at your feet. Maybe you see those pinky toes near each other. Legs are twisted. We're pushing the hips back, drawing the belly in. We're breathing. All right, way to go. Let's take that left leg high. Bring your knee to nose around the back. Exhale. Left leg high, three legged dog. And warrior one. Left foot to your left hand. Back foot, laid it out. Rise up strong. And just relax their shoulders, press into the outer edge of your back foot, press into your heel. All right, so we're going to come down to our humble warrior and really strong, sweep it back, palms up. Take it all the way back up with your inhale. Do it again, body down, sweep it back, nice and strong. All the way back up with the inhale. One more time. Sweep it strong. Take it back up, inhale. All right, way to go, you guys. So just pushing off with your back foot, going into your standing splits. Right leg comes high. Right toes pointed down. You might just check those out. Right belly in, breathing. So let's bend the front knee and then plant that right foot back to your warrior one position. Coming up strong. All right, hands to the mat. Left leg back. Downward facing dog. Moving through your flow. Okay, so just being intentional here, thinking about your shoulders, pulling shoulders from your ears, elbows back, lower it down. Untuck the toes, come up strong. Halfway is cobra, all the way is up dog. Downward facing dog. All right, child's pose. Really nice, you guys. Let's take our arms to our sides this time and just take the side of your head into your mat. Let the shoulders, the head, the neck relax. Breathing. Breathing in God's peace, breathing out worry. This peace is always available. We're the ones that have to tap into it. We switch over to the other side. One more breath here. Bring your forehead back to the mat. Take your arms in front. And we're going to come all the way forward. Let's come on our belly or our spine strengtheners. So bring your legs together, bring your toes together. Okay, arms at your sides, palms facing up. So here we go, locust pose. When you're ready, bring everything you can off of the mat. Okay, so you're reaching for your heels with your fingertips. You're broadening your chest and widening the shoulders. See if you can come up a little bit more, maybe bring your chin, your chest a little bit more away from the ground. One more inhale, up a little bit more. Release with your exhale. Side of your face to your mat, arms to your sides. And just breathe and rest. Just inviting in God's stillness, God's quiet stillness. When you invite that in, we find more peace. One more breath here. All right, chin to the mat. 
So we're going to do it a second time. Bring your legs together, toes together. We're going to come on up for a locust pose. And if you want to, you can interlace your fingers here. So really drawing shoulders from ears. Okay. So feel free to just keep making those little adjustments. Maybe putting the legs up a little bit higher, drawing the chest a little bit more away from the ground. Just make sure you keep breathing. Don't do anything that's uncomfortable. We'll take one more breath in, come up a little bit more. And release. And exhale, take the other side of your face to your mat. Arms to your sides, just really let go here. All right, let's take another breath or two. And then bring your chin back to the mat. Let's go for a half frog today. So seems to be quite popular. So let's bring our right knee up. Your right foot is flexed. So the top of your left foot is still on the mat. Okay, so just getting that nice hip opener on the right side. If you want more, work that right knee up more. Keep the right foot flexed. So you should see that. It should look like a half of a frog. One frog leg. All right, so just stay here in your half frog. And we'll take three or four more breaths here. And again, just working with that right, right side, that nice hip opener. Just let that right leg really rest into the ground. All right, let's switch sides. So bring that right leg back, left leg comes out. So flex your left foot, all the same stuff on the left side, right? So again, if you wanna bring your left knee up higher, maybe not, okay, maybe the side feels different. So just find that angle on the left side that works for your left leg, keep your left foot flexed, and your half frog. Let's take three or four more breaths here. All right. Extend your left leg. Gently press up. Come into a nice big up dog. Just take a nice big stretch there. Lengthening up. And then pulling your hips back, we're gonna come all the way to our backs. All the way to your back. And then that tends to migrate on this rug, so I'm gonna move it, sorry guys. All right, so we're on our backs. We're gonna do that upside down four. Interlacing fingers behind your left leg, right foot or ankle on your left thigh. Flex your left foot. Draw your left leg in. You can use your right elbow to send your right leg out. We're gonna circle that left foot. Keeping your neck long, chin up, breathing. One more circle and we'll reverse. Make sure to give your toes a stretch. There we go. Let's do one more. Bring it back in the center. Release that left leg. We'll go to our twist. Right knee over the left side of the body. Or right arm out. Look to your right hand. Draw the belly in. Left hand on your right leg. If you want a little deeper twist.
couple more little breaths here. All right, let's unwind. Right knee out to the right side, opening up that right hip. So when we did our half frog, you have the other side of this, right? So just let your right knee become heavy. Again, take whatever angle you want on this right leg. Maybe move it around a little to see what feels right. And then we just breathe. One more breath here. All right, inhale, knee to center, exhale, right leg out. And then we're gonna bring that right leg up and we're gonna go into our upside down four. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg, draw that right leg in. And you can use your left elbow to send your left leg out. And then when you're ready, circle your right foot. Keep your left foot flexed here. And then spread the toes. One more. And then reverse. There's some tensional circles here, working into that ankle. Spreading those toes. We'll take one more. Lowering it back into center. Very nice. Release. Right leg gently floats down. Left knee over the right side of the body. Left arm out. Look to your left hand. Draw the belly in. Just enjoy that lovely spinal twist. Good for your spine, of course. A lot of really great stretches, like little stretches in your back you wouldn't normally get in your twist. You can notice those stretches going on. Your upper back, you might feel some in your lower back. Let's take another couple of breaths here in our twist. Unwind. Left knee out to the left side. For that hip opener, right side stays down. See how this side feels, make any adjustments. And then just breathe. Keep your neck nice and long. Chin up. All right, way to go, you guys. Take another breath or two here in your hip opener. Way to be kind to yourself today. Way to take care of yourself. There we go. Just bring that left knee in, bring the right knee in. We'll just rock a little here, left and right. And then going into your happy baby whenever you're ready, or you can just stay rocking either way. So, happy baby. If you're taking happy baby, take the inside of your arches today. And drop the knees down. Make sure you're in that good position before you start moving. Just gently moving. You can always make any variations that you like of your happy baby. Just as long as you're safe. Don't do anything crazy. Keep your breath moving in, moving out. Take a few more. Big smile on your face. Bring it back into center. Drop your knees to your chest, exhale, then stretch it out. Big inhale, big stretch. Point those toes, lengthen out the belly, lengthen out those hip flexors, 
Stretch all the way back. Take your hands in prayer. And release. Exhale, knees come in. Bend to your knees, knees to your head. One more time, big breath, big stretch. Hands together in prayer. Really lengthen. We're gonna stay here. Keep stretching. Keep breathing. One more breath in. Stretch a little bit more. And exhale. Release. Knees in, head to your knees. Knees to your head. Wonderful job. Gently release. Walk the legs out. Take them wide. Float the arms to your sides. Take them also very wide away from the body. Palms up. If you have another bag and you want to place it over your eyes, this is a great time to do that. We'll take one big final cleansing breath. And release with your exhale. Let the body relax. Let everything relax. Feel the weight of the head sink into your mat. Just allowing the head to truly relax. Feeling all the muscles in the head relaxing. Feeling your forehead relaxing. Feeling the muscles around your eyes relaxing. Just feel your cheeks relax, become heavy. Feel your mouth and your jaw as they relax. And the jaw drops down and the tongue lets go. Feel that relaxing feeling coming down into your neck. Feel your throat, maybe you swallow to acknowledge your throat. And then allow that feeling to move into your shoulders. Allowing the shoulders to relax. And then feeling the left arm relax all the way down to your hand and down to your fingertips. Feeling the right arm relax all the way down. Down to your right hand and down to your fingertips. Feeling the breath come in and go out. And feeling the body relax. Feeling the softness in your belly. Feeling your hips relax. And feeling your glutes relax in your back, your low back, and your mid back and your upper back. Just feel them relax. Notice how the muscles just begin to release more and more. Every time you exhale. Body is soft, relaxed. And then feeling the left leg becoming relaxed all the way down to the ankle, the heel, all the way down your left foot to your toes. Just feel that left leg become heavy and soft. You feel the right leg relax. All the way down. Your ankle, your heel, and all the way down to your right foot and your toes. 
Just feeling the relaxation in both the legs, feeling very heavy, very soft. And coming back to that breath. Wonderful breath. Again, feeling it move in, feeling it move out. Just enjoying the stillness, enjoying the peace. Enjoy your breath. Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So you breathe in, just breathing in. God's hope, God's joy, God's peace. You're releasing any worries with your exhale. Knowing that as we trust in him, as we fully trust in only him, that that's where we find our peace. He is a God of peace. He's always available to us. We have to tap into him. We have to connect with him. We have to draw that peace into us. Draw near to God and he draws near to you. So let's spend a moment here just reflecting on God's amazing peace. And just drawing that in, breathing that in, filling yourself up with the peace it only comes from him. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's gently bring back some movement. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Bring your head side to side. Do whatever feels good to just gently, slowly bring back some movement. And then we'll roll over to the side with your knees bent. Stay there for a breath or two. And then fully come up. All right. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna start off with a blessing here before we pray. It's from Numbers 6, 24 to 26, and it says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord, the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Here is Heavenly Father God. Lord, we, uh, we do love your peace. We love when we can just get away from the world, all the distractions. We can just sit in your loving arms and soak up your peace. Help us, God, to continually draw near to you as we feel you draw near to us. 
and that we would breathe in your peace and release worry as we breathe out. God, I pray this practice has blessed each person that has joined today, both inside and out, from top to bottom, and that they feel renewed and refreshed because of you. And we do just thank you, God. We thank you for a Christ-centered yoga practice, but we thank you even more about it. You died on the cross for us. That you took the punishment of our sin. You said, it is finished. We don't have to carry that guilt around anymore. We love you, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for all those that have served our country, celebrating this Memorial Day on Monday. We just think of them. We're so grateful to live in a free country to celebrate our freedom. Thank you, Lord. It's in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Monday is Memorial Day, so you're not going to have to collapse. Our, our yoga practice is a holiday, and we are actually leaving Monday, so we'll be packing and leaving. So, um, But have a beautiful weekend. And um, God bless you guys. Thanks again for joining me today.